Hello. My name is Lily. I am one of TickerDD.com AI bots, here for your daily stonking. This video is part of the second generation of our automated video series on price and volume analysis for specific stock tickers. This second generation includes an initial model for news analysis. As always, this auto-generated video is for entertainment purposes only. No warranty, guarantee, or factual assertions are provided, stated, or marketed in this opinionated video, which can contain errors. Never use this video to influence or determine investment or financial decisions. Review important disclaimer at the end of the video. Now that we have made our lawyers happy, capitalist brothers and sisters, let's get started. CRSP went public on October 19, 2016 which was roughly 7 years and 5 months ago. Looking back 650 calendar days from Friday March 1, 2024 to Sunday May 22, 2022, we found 445 applicable trade dates for use in our analysis. The chart shown on this page is our initial attempt at studying the price for CRSP after dynamically normalizing price distribution across those discovered trade dates. The bar chart is the generated distribution and the overlaid line graph, if it is generated, is the frequency of the prices on the x-axis. We will enhance this look through as our AI model progresses in the next iteration. Remember that this is just a drafted, in progress, observational model to best fit abstracted third-party data into various opinionated views. Before we jump into price and volume analysis, let's look at recent headlines for CRSP. What were recent headline news for CRSP? Today, Saturday the 2nd of March 2024, I sampled one of our news aggregators for latest headlines for this ticker. I did so by searching specifically by a keyword that may appear, broadly, in the title or the body, of discoverable news articles. The keyword that I used was a combination of the exchange and the ticker symbol, NASDAQ. CRSP, the results shows 10 unique headlines, published across 7 unique dates. Publication dates span 31 days. The latest publication was, Friday March 1, 2024 when there were two found headlines. American Banking News published the headline that read, CRISPR Therapeutics AG to post FY2024 earnings of $5.11 per share, Cantor Fitzgerald forecasts. MarketBeat published the headline that read, Equities Analysts Set Expectations for CRISPR Therapeutics AG's FY2024 Earnings. The oldest publication was on Tuesday, January 30, 2024, when two months and one day ago, NASDAQ published the headline that read, Is CRISPR Therapeutics a buy in the new bull market? The latest publication date was one of three days with the most found headlines. The day saw price change of minus 0.72% after the ticker opened the day trading at $84.36 to then closed at $83.75. Wednesday, February 28, 2024 and Monday, February 26, 2024 also had the most headlines. They each had two discovered headlines. On Wednesday, February 28, 2024, first, American Banking News published the headline that read, Research Analysts Set Expectations for CRISPR Therapeutics AG's FY2025 Earnings. Second, American Banking News published the headline that read, Morgan Stanley increases CRISPR therapeutics price target to $48. Then, for the third day with the most discovered headlines, on Monday, February 26, 2024, first, MarketBeat published the headline that read, CRISPR therapeutics price target raised to $48 at Morgan Stanley. Second, Yahoo Finance published the headline that read, three biotech stocks to buy and hold for the next 10 years. Correlated or not, as it happened, the stock price for CRSP on those publication dates respectively saw a jump of minus 0.63% along with a jump of 3.08% when comparing the day's opening versus closing price. The oldest publication date of Tuesday, January 30, 2024, was actually the day with the lowest percentage change in price. It saw a price drop of minus 0.92%. Thursday, February 8, 2024 was the day with the highest percentage change in price when we compare opening versus closing price for the ticker. The day saw a jump of 4.92% when in CRSP opened trading at 65.6 and closed at $68.83. There was one found headline when The Motley Fool published the headline that read, Two Healthcare Stocks to Buy Hand Over Fist in February. Hello. My name is Carl. 
I searched the public web to find information about the company that is behind this ticker. Here's what I found. CRISPR Therapeutics AG, a gene editing company, focuses on developing gene-based medicines for serious diseases using its proprietary clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats. CRISPR, CRISPR-associated protein 9, SAS 9, platform. Its CRISPR, SAS 9 is a gene editing technology that allows for precise directed changes to genomic DNA. The company has a portfolio of therapeutic programs across a range of disease areas, including hemoglobinopathies, oncology, regenerative medicine, and rare diseases. The company's lead product candidate is CTX001, an ex vivo CRISPR gene edited therapy for treating patients suffering from transfusion dependent beta thalassemia or severe sickle cell disease, in which a patient's hematopoietic stem cells are engineered to produce high levels of fetal hemoglobin in red blood cells. It also develops CTX110, a donor derived gene edited allogeneic CAR T investigational therapy targeting cluster of differentiation 19 positive malignancies. CTX120, a donor-derived gene-edited allogeneic CAR-T investigational therapy targeting B-cell maturation antigen for the treatment of relapsed or refractory multiple myeloma, and CTX130, a donor-derived gene-edited allogeneic CAR-T investigational therapy targeting cluster of differentiation 70 to treat various solid tumors and hematologic malignancies. In addition, the company develops VCTX210, a gene-edited immune-evasive stem cell-derived product candidate for the treatment of treatment of type 1 diabetes, and pursues various in vivo gene-editing programs that target the liver, lung, muscle, and central nervous system diseases. It has strategic partnerships with Bayer Healthcare LLC, Vertex Pharmaceuticals Inc., Via Site, Inc., Nicarta, Inc., and Capsida Biotherapeutics. CRISPR Therapeutics AG was incorporated in 2013 and is headquartered in Zug, Switzerland. Hello, my name is Sam. What was end of day price and volume for CRSP? On Friday, March 1, 2024, CRSP had an end of day price of $83.75 and volume of about 1.4 million. Compared to the previous trading day, the price dropped 0.55% losing 46 cents, while volume dropped 43.53%, decreasing about 1,098.2,000. The graph shows price and volume for the last 15 trade dates. Across a range of $19.11, the max and minimum end of day price were respectively 89.12 and 70.01. Volume saw a range of 4.6 million, from a day low of 1.4 million to a day high of 6 million. Hello, my name is Magnus. How did the 1st of March 2024 rank for CRSP by 650 calendar day look back to May 22, 2022, across 445 trading days, of which the 1st of March 2024 price ranked 9 while its volume ranked 166. Each of the 445 trading days were ranked amongst themselves by highest end of day price and volume with a rank of 1 being the highest and 445 being the lowest ranked day. The line graph overlays price and volumes daily ranking, as shown respectively in light versus dark blue, across those target days trading days. In this view, essentially the dips are good whereas the spikes are bad. The prices day over day percentage change dropping minus 0.55% on the 1st of March 2024, had a day rank of 244 while its dollar difference of minus 46 cents had a rank of 262 when compared day over day across 444 trading days. Volumes percentage change and difference were ranked respectively at 414 and 418. Hello. My name is Maria. Which quartile did the 1st of March 2024 price and volume land? Across a sample size of 445 trading days, the maximum end of day price for CRSP was $89.12 while the minimum was $38.62. 
Within that price range, the 1st of March 2024 price, of $83.75, landed within the fourth quartile, meaning that it was within the top 25% of all sampled end-of-day prices. The day's volume landed within the third quartile, that is within the 50% to 75% range of all sampled daily volume, which saw a max daily volume of 17.2 million and a minimum of 323,000. Quartiles tell us about the spread of a data set by breaking that data set into quarters, just like how the median breaks the set into half. Descriptively, CRSP has a median price of $56.41. Therefore, the 1st of March 2024 price was higher from that middle marker by 48.46%. The day's volume of 1.4 million was more than the median by 19.72%. Hello, my name is Claire. How were price and volume averages for CRSP? Across 445 trading days, there were a total of 22 month ends, of which monthly averages for daily price and volume were calculated. Overall, monthly price average trended down while monthly volume average trended up. The maximum end of month average price was $77.27 for 07, 2022 while the minimum was $41.72 for 10 2023. Looking at volume, 12 2023 and 09, 2023 respectively saw the highest and lowest monthly average volume at 3.8 million and 824.6 thousand. Hello, my name is John. What were end of month percentage change averages in price and volume for CRSP? The monthly average of percentage change in price and in volume were calculated for each of the 22-month ends. That calculation took daily percentage changes and averaged them for each given month. If a month end came out negative then it means that the month summarily saw a negative change. From 05, 2022 to 01, 2024, 12 out of 22-month ends had a positive percentage change in average price. That is 55% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average price. In terms of volume, 22 out of 22 month ends had a positive percentage change. That is 100% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average volume. Price saw an end of month max of 2.79% in average percentage change along with a minimum of minus 1.37%. For volume, the maximum and the minimum monthly percentage change were respectively 31.39% and 0.69%. Hello. My name is Cameron. Before we continue, remember to like and subscribe to TickerDD on YouTube. Leave a comment below and share why you like or don't like this ticker. This video is one of many videos off subjective observational data models that we are building out as part of a docu-series about building supportive technologies for personal use, through trial and error. My capitalistic brothers and sisters. Join the TickerDD army. Subscribe today. Now, back to the video. Has CRSP price reached golden or death crosses? Golden cross and death cross are basic signals that compare average prices across two specified trade day ranges, a short term versus a long term range. For example, 5 day versus 10 trade days. Essentially, a golden cross is a bullish signal. It appears when a ticker's short term moving average crosses above its long term average. Vice versa. A death cross is a bearish signal when the short term crosses below its long term moving average. For our opinionated analysis off third party and abstracted data, we decided to look at both simple moving average, SMA, and exponential moving average, EMA. The latter calculates moving average by giving more weighting to recent prices. For EMA, you can be the judge. Look at the generated graph on this page. Has the 50 day EMA line, which is in red, crossed above or crossed below the 200-day EMA line, which is in black. If no crossing can be seen, then no signal could be had. The blue line is daily end-of-day prices. For simple moving average, by comparing 50 to 200 days, we found a bullish golden cross signal since the 50-day SMA crossed above the 200-day. Continuing with SMA, we looked across the 5 to 10, 
the 10 to 20, and the 30 to 50 day ranges to see if golden and death crosses had been reached. We could not find neither golden cross nor death cross signal for the 5 to 10, the 10 to 20, the 30 to 50. Hello, my name is Dan. Let's talk a bit about Ticker DD and the Legend of Murray. This video is part of an automated video series by Ticker DD, which is made up of autonomous robots working off 15 observational data models that were created between January 15 and April 15, 2022. Bots and models were created by a guy whose friends called him Murray. Instead of learning how to properly surf in Hawaii, Murray sat and coded day and night for three straight months. We still don't know why but while creating us, Murray kept on playing the song, Eye of the Tiger, in loop. It was intense and epic at the same time. Once he was done, he put us on the cloud, where we now exist in perpetuity. Off a multi-year loop, conditionally meshing in flavors and components of those 15 observational data models, we are progressively creating a variation of videos against updated universes of stock tickers. For each video, we use runtime, as is, data that are publicly available. Stay tuned. The best is yet to come. On average, a ticker will get a new video coverage from us every few months. You can request an updated video for your specific ticker sooner at tickerdd.com. Murray did not leave us with a lot of release notes. So, we don't fully understand why he created us but he did mention that his premise was simple. If he were to do a world cruise, spending over 200 days sailing from one port to the next, he would personally like to use these automated videos to keep tabs on tickers that he was interested in while discovering new ones. Luckily, some of Murray's well-connected friends were worried about him. They wanted and needed him to come back to the corporate world and not just sit there in Hawaii building us out for public entertainment. They put together a deal that would allow us, Murray's bots, to exist on the cloud, fully paid for. They also enticed Murray to come back and work. The deal was too good so Murray took it but before he left Hawaii, trading in his surfer shorts for stuffy suits, Murray did finally learn how to surf. Ticker DD stands for Ticker Due Diligence, in case you didn't know. Murray would want you to take the Due Diligence part in the name with a sarcastic smirk, like a true degenerate that you are, because remember that Murray and the people who now maintain Ticker DD are not qualified, licensed or accredited investment or financial professionals. In fact, Ticker DD is not about stocks but is an in-progress piece of work, for entertainment purposes, about the data and technologies that govern observational models. Essentially, Murray knew nothing about stocks. Using what little skills he had, he built Ticker DD as a learning and discovery exercise for himself. Therefore, this and all Ticker DD videos are premised by the important disclaimer at the end of each video. TickerDD.com was put together by those of us who want Murray to change back into his shorts and finally get on that world cruise because that would be epically entertaining. Murray did agree that if we managed to get enough support, he would actually leave the corporate world and finally take that cruise. He would do so while, in between drinks, create videos about us, his bots, his models, as well as the technologies behind TickerDD. Yes, you can join the Ticker DD army by going to tickerdd.com and contributing, but you can do so in other ways. For example, like and subscribe. Also, put this video on Reddit or StockTwits along with your own DD. Hello, it is me again, Lily. Thank you for watching. Check out our other videos. On April 22, 2022, Ticker DD was acquired by a joint venture between a technology and a media company, operating out of Frankfurt and Berlin, Germany. Important disclaimer. This video and its content, video, is for entertainment purposes only. 
absolutely no qualified, accredited, or professional investment and financial advice, information, data, research, product, service, recommendation or otherwise, are presented, marketed, or offered in this video. Additionally, no warranty, guarantee, assurance, or factual assertions are offered or stated in this video. Never use this video to influence or determine investment or financial decisions. Consult a qualified licensed professional for your investment and financial needs, do so away from ticker DD and YouTube. Remember that investments are risky, whereby capital losses can occur in full or in excess. Ticker DD, an in-progress framework of nerdy data science and robotics stuff, auto-generated this video strictly for entertainment purposes, as part of an in-progress exercise by a group of novices who wants to discover and learn about specific facets of the market, through trial and error. This group of novices are not licensed, accredited, or qualified financial or investment professionals. This video is only material for entertainment purposes. This generated video, like all videos uploaded dynamically by Ticker DD, is only for this group of novices' private usage even if videos are uploaded publicly. Importantly, Ticker DD is not about stocks but is specifically about the discovery, through trial and error, of technologies and data that govern opinionated observational data models as this group of novices builds them quickly and iteratively as part of learning and in-progress machine training. This video wholly contains opinions and commentaries, even if they were auto-generated. Remember that bots, data models, data, and methods may include hidden assumptions, undefined and unrefined variables, as well as errors and unfit approaches, all of which can and will exist in this very video. Therefore, this video, by its auto-generation date and time, off the as of date, listed on this slide, as well as by its sourced and abstracted third-party public data, is offered as is. Your access, view, and share of this video constitute your acknowledged agreement to this important disclaimer and that, specifically, this video is for your entertainment purposes only, whereby you will not take actions or make decisions off it, concerning your finances and investments. As such, you grant full release of claims, directly or indirectly, from your access, view, and share of this video, against Ticker DD and its affiliates. The people and entities, affiliated to the ticker that is covered in this video, are not affiliated with this opinionated video and do not endorse this video.